don't tell my boss what I was doing. get started so I wanted to make this video sort of a get ready with me because I realized that I actually haven't introduced myself to this channel and it's almost as if oh guys I'm sorry I keep touching my hair sorry 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 so I realized that I didn't really introduce myself and so I figured why not do it today morning especially because I'm in a rush so I would not so I would blab so, um, first of all, I need to moisturize my lips. Oh, I prefer to do it before I start with my makeup because if I don't do it before, I most of the time forget. Who am I? Alright, my name is Kolo. And no, and it's my only name. So, my name is Kolo. It's my only name. And now you wonder who's Vicky then. So, my name. Cholo, not Lorello, not Cholofello, not anything beyond Cholo. My name basically means victory. That's where Vicky comes from. So technically Vicky is my name. I didn't just pick it up in the street, you know. It sort of is my name because my name translates it. So yeah. Right now, in this day and age, <laughs> in this period in life. I am at an age where I'm comfortable to, to disclose how old I am. Beyond this, I am not going to tell you guys. I'm 23. I'm not the only person who literally cannot do her brows and talk at the same time. Like, I can't. I'm so scared of messing them up. And I'm already, like, sort of running late. So I really do not want to mess them up. Let's do this. Let me finish up my brows and then I'll be back. I'm done with my brows. And we can get back to getting to know each other. So, um, yeah, my name is Vicky. I love makeup. I've always just liked makeup and I've always just played with my mom's like makeup and stuff. And you know how Diskim is a trap? Like, you go to Diskim to get your prescription, to pick up your prescription, and you come back with an eyeshadow, and then you come back with this, and then you come back with that. So, Eventually, I kind of like gave into the temptation, and I've always just wanted to start a YouTube channel. And always found an excuse why not to. Until one day, I just I was like, let me just do it. You know, let me just sit in front of a camera and film. Let's, let's try that and see how it goes and that's how we got here now what do I do for a living um, so I recently just graduated if you follow me on Instagram you'd know this and in become accounting science let me tell you something last year was rough I'm not even kidding like last year was so rough and I'm going to use this Maybelline baby skin to prime my face if I don't prime my face it's it's not gonna work out it's never gonna work out between me and the makeup like it's gonna start caking and my skin just I need that protective barrier because my skin doesn't like makeup well, no one's skin that likes makeup actually, so it's very important to prime your face and just make sure that there's a protective layer between your skin and the makeup, especially if you're gonna put makeup on every day. So, anyway, back to me. Um, I recently graduated and I started working. So I'm working within the corporate industry and everything and it's actually quite cool I don't have it's actually quite cool um so far I am enjoying working it's just that I am still studying three Lisa so it is quite um, demanding because 
you go to work, you have deadlines at work, you come back and you have tests to study for. So it's a lot. So now, oh, I'm using my Mac Studio Fix Foundation. I'm gonna take my beauty sponge. Wow, I am. This is taking longer than I thought it would. <laughs> every day. I say that every day. So I'm just gonna take that sponge and I'm just going to sort of blend that in even further. I really enjoy working. Like, I'm not even gonna complain about that. I think, I remember thinking to myself last day for it, you know. I just can't wait to work like I'm not I, I already knew last year that I don't want to be studying full-time again like I I don't want to be studying full-time again I cannot do this so funny story I bought this and I broke it on the day of my graduation as you can see so I forgot I completely forgot and I opened it like it's brand new and Vicky has not touched it ever before but anyway it's all good so good so i'm just gonna put powder on my face I'm just gonna powder that because we don't want it going anywhere i mean what's the point of putting on the face foundation and then it disappears for the day as i am quite the blabber so <laughs> excuse me if this is not what you expected but yeah so this is me setting my makeup i don't normally highlight when i go to work because i like my highlight I don't highlight underneath my eyes, let me say that. I do put on some highlight like as well. I am going to take my Art I Heart Makeup Death by Chocolate palette. Like this this palette is beautiful. Just look at all okay. Just look at all these colours. Like I feel like these colours are so pretty. So I'm gonna go in with this brown shade. I use it like every day every single day so i'm just gonna take that and i'm gonna put it lightly on my eyes just to add a bit of dimension to my eyes i just not even trying to be like civil about it or perfectionist about it just put it over my eye it just that brown just adds a bit of dimension to the eye you know so guys, that's a little bit about my life. If you do have any further questions, like do um, inbox me or DM me on Instagram or comment down below. But I was planning on doing a Q&A, so if you can, just give me a few questions and I will answer them. I just want to touch a little bit on last year. Like last year was a super difficult year. So now I'm going to just take this color over here I'm just going to lightly very lightly just to put it on my lid I feel like this is a milder version of my graduation makeup actually these are the exact same shades that I use but obviously I use them differently so it will look the same but anyway um my journey right my varsity journey was so difficult like it wasn't it was nice in the beginning but at some point it was just a lot it was a bit too much and i feel like as much as people try and warn you about how hard varsity is going to be you won't be you'll never be like prepared enough for it you you just never really ready for it and that's the one weird thing is that i mean varsity can easily go from being the best time of your life to the worst and vice versa like it can go either way and you just out here trying to get your degree and trying to make your parents proud and um so basically um so basically i started with varsity in 2014 that's when i was in your first year i was like first year in 2014 and i 
I was like cruising through first year as was literally the best year of my life I'm not even gonna lie like it was just so chilled everything was still sorry I cannot do anything on my eyes while talking so everything was so chilled the pressure was still at a minimum um, no one was you know trying to pressure you like you should be finishing and I was doing okay like I was doing well so I didn't feel any pressure from anyone because I was not I was not really struggling in first year I won't I wouldn't even lie like I was not really struggling but then second year came and homegirl was going through the most like the one thing I realized about varsity is yes yes I'm not saying go out I am definitely not saying go out don't go out if you have a test don't do that shit but sometimes when it comes to academics like you have to know how to study smart you have to study smart like you can't just study hard and I think my thing is that I then tried studying hard instead of studying smart because I started going out less you know studying a bit more because it was I was struggling with a certain module and tried and tried and tried and tried and tried but I failed at the end of the day and the one thing and that took away a lot of my confidence and it was since then I had like severe performance anxiety like before tests since I failed in second year before tests I'd get very anxious I'd get very nervous and worried and all of those things and before then before then I never experienced and before then I had never experienced I have never ex I had never experienced that like I had never had to I had never worried or panicked before it is like you'd be you'd be like oh it's not gonna go well but the confidence of studying you know you'll you'll still be confident because you studied but after failing second year no matter how much I studied I'd never really be confident because even when I like that module that I failed I'd have moments where I would go into the test and I'm super confident like, I know what I'm doing I got this I got this I know exactly what I'm doing and has come back homegirl you do not know what you're doing you did not know what you were doing and that thing killed my confidence like that thing killed my confidence so my confidence levels were all the way down in the dance and I'm still sort of trying to recover from that I had computer card I'm still trying to recover from that but as time went it eventually got a bit better like as time went you started realizing that you know what um, I can actually do this like if I try a little bit harder and I try to figure out where my problems lie and the one thing about it is the one thing that I'm glad about is that I never quit because there were times there were there were people who were like no you know if you do this like this and then you try and do that it will you'll still get to where you want to be but I was like no I want to do it I want to finish what I started I want to switch to another degree and then have to bridge and yes, it's gonna take it's gonna take the same amount of time but I didn't want to do that I wanted to get the specific degree this is what I wanted I did fail and eventually I managed to build the confidence and whatever whatever I passed now but I'm not I'm not out of the woods yet like I still have my post grad that I'm currently busy with and that is another challenge on its own because now I'm not just studying full time I'm also working so but anyway this is all I can talk about today
because I'm not getting late for work. Don't tell my boss what I was doing.